Hi there again. So we're up to the last part of the time series investigation for level three and we're looking today at what you'd write in your conclusion. So in the real world, if you were writing this for a lot of money for somebody, um, then you would be wanting to sum up what you found out and all the rest of the investigation. So you need to say what you were investigating, what you found out, what else you could do, um, how important it was, whether it was worth doing, any of those sort of questions that you could answer. Okay, so let's have a look at the sort of things you might answer. All right, so here I've got sum up what's happening overall, comment on whether your model is useful, who would your predictions be useful for or to, um, and what else could you do? And maybe do it if it's worthwhile, or maybe there's something you can look at and compare to it and add as a note. Um, so let's have a look here. In conclusion, there seem there appears to be quite a. Uh, in conclusion, there appears to be a clear decrease in the amount of sea ice at the North Pole. The model I fitted to my raw data seemed to fit well, but predicted that the amount of sea ice will increase for July. On closer inspection, all the months increase, and when looking back at the raw data, we can see that in the last five years, this seems there seems to be a turnaround in the trend. This could, be, this could impact the predictions, as the more recent the data used, the better your predictions will be. The further away I get from the given data, the less accurate our predictions will be. All right. The decreasing sea ice levels could be of concern to people living in low-lying areas, as this means the sea levels are likely to be increasing, potentially putting their homes at risk. It does appear some effort has been put into awareness of global warming and incentives. To turn this around, they've got a little link there. Then you can talk about all the other things you could do, like we could look at the Antarctic data and see if the same pattern is occurring there. I could do a little quick copy of the graph in here and talk about it. I could find out a little bit more about the global warming incentives and what's happening there and whether greenhouse gases are decreasing or increasing, because we know that has an impact on the warmth of the planet and therefore whether the ice is melting or not so there's a, a lot of little bits and pieces you can do in here to conclude but you don't need to go overboard you're not writing a report about lots of other things you're writing a report about the decreasing sea le ice levels and it is impacted by this but we just want to know that you're thinking about what other things can come in here all right good luck with it hope you all do well